What's going on guys? Corey here from designsbyifar.com. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I just really want to talk to you guys about this PC. Now, Cougar were very, very generous in providing us this case to play with. And we also had Bits Power Jump on board for all of the water cooling as you can see inside. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Now, as a lot of you may know, you can see that we do have a different kind of filming setup, one that you guys probably aren't used to, used to seeing me outside getting sunburned every single weekend to try and get these PCs out to you guys. We put up with it because we enjoy it. That's uh, what this is all about. But um, we actually got our first home, so we can finally record inside. Now, I wanna start showing you guys more of the progress on how I did stuff. Um, because lately it's been the holidays, so I've quickly chucked together a lot of builds because I felt like I was really behind with all of this house buying progress. Wanted to go through a bit of the specs and uh, why I chose them for this build. And unfortunately, we did have to get rid of the desk PC moving into this house because there simply wasn't enough room. So this PC is going to be one of my main PCs that I will be using from now on. There will be another one coming up, hopefully the next build, maybe the build after. It will be using the same case, but a gold and black theme, and it is gonna be packed full of awesome hardware. And guys, mwave.com.au have jumped on board and helped us tremendously. So have Seagate, a new partner to the channel, so very happy to have them on board. Let's go through the specs and why I chose them. So let's start with the CPU. We have the Intel, 8700K CPU. I went with this because I want this PC as my main gaming rig. So I wanna keep this separate from all my editing because hard drive space was really a killer on my previous builds. Didn't have enough for all of this 4K video that I'm recording and I like to reuse and recycle old footage. So I wanna hang on to that rather than deleting it all. So I'm gonna keep this primarily for games so I can separate it from my editing. That is why I chose the 8700K. It has more cores and more speed over say a X299 CPU would have. Therefore, it would perform better in games because it's not really utilizing that multi-core performance as say rendering and 3D design and CAD work would do. So this was probably one of the best CPUs for my choice. I also went with this motherboard because it did have the motherboard on it. This is the Asus Maximus 10 code. Hopefully I got that right. Um, motherboord and I painted the armor all white. I wanted everything primarily white and red in this system. So that's why I went with that motherboard. Has all of the features you can expect of a high-end motherboard. And yeah, it just really suits the theme and I was able to turn that to white, which is primarily what I wanted because it was so hard to find a decent motherboard that was white. Of course, we do have the Thermaltake ring fans. We've obviously changed all those to white. Looks like a hint of blue in there, but I do like that cool sort of tone in there. We also have the T-Force Nighthawk RGB RAM in there, as you can see, and some of you probably spotted this in the video, we only have three sticks in there. Unfortunately, one did die, but we are getting that replaced. Thank you very much to Team Group for hooking us up with them and being so quick and generous to actually replace that dead RAM stick very quickly. So always a pleasure working with them and I cannot speak highly enough of their RAM. And it's white, it suits the build. So that was just a bigger bonus for me. Of course, we do have the premium cable mod cables. I love that they came out with these new premium sleeves, much thicker wire as well, fills out the build a bit more, and it also comes pre-installed with aluminium cable combs to keep all of the wires nice and clean and routed really nicely throughout the build. I think that the cables are just the thing that really complements the build and takes it to that next level, especially if you have those sleeved cables looking very neat. Of course, I did mention Bits Power were one of our main sponsors for this build, providing all of the water cooling. I absolutely love Bits Power hardware. They have more of a premium feel to it, I feel. And I really wanted to go with these hexagon reservoirs. Such a unique design. They've got so many fill port options around it as well. Each side has a different section that you can use to fill the build with or drain the build with. 
As you guys probably saw in the video, I do have a valve fitting at the bottom of one, and I was also filling the build from the front. That was the easiest access point by removing the top fan and just tilting the PC on its side. It also made it so that the pump was getting fed by water through gravity by tilting it on its side as well. And that was good just for filling it. Now that it's all filled through the system, water's gonna be constantly cycling through. We did use a Mayhem's Deep Red for the liquid, as you can see through the build. It's actually gone a bit dark. I like that dark look. It contrasts real nice with the Bits Power fittings. These Bits Power fittings, by the way, the 90 degrees, they've been on their site for a bit, but the ones on the CPU block, the straight compression fittings, they are all new, guys. I don't even know if those have been released yet. They're Bits Power's new premium sort of um, fittings, and I'm not sure if they're released on the market yet. Don't quote me, but you guys can feel free to browse Bits Power's website and keep an eye out for those. I'm really loving the look of them. They, too, do look premium, so I'm really enjoying them. I was going to put a 240 mil radiator on the front as well to get maximum cooling capacity. The only problem was at the back of the Bits Power radiator, Bits Power includes two holes on each side. Now the problem was when I put the stop fittings on one side, it made the radiator push against the panel on the case. So you couldn't actually physically screw the radiator into the front, which was a shame because I was after more cooling, but I'm sure this 360 Monster Rad is quite capable of cooling this system. Now I did mention before we do have Seagate on board. We do have a four terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive installed there. It's got some really nice fast speeds. Great for storing our games and anything like that. And of course that is accompanied by one of our Corsair SSDs for our fast boot times. And a few other programs that we want on the SSD just to load a bit faster. Going down to our power supply, Snow Silent. This is from Seasonic. We've actually named this build Project Snow Silent. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Got the name from the power supply. Really great quality power supply. I can't get enough of this one. I love the white finish on it. It actually looks really, really good. The quality is amazing. So props to Seasonic for their power supplies. And um, so thank you Seasonic for supplying that as well. One last thing guys, this case does come with a tempered glass front and back panel. I've kept the front panel off just to show you guys the insides like I do with all my builds. I keep the window off because it becomes very reflective. I can use a filter to reduce that reflect, but it's so much easier capturing the beauty of a PC without the actual window on. And for the GPU, we do of course have the GTX 1080 Seahawk by MSI. We went with the 1080 instead of the 1080 Ti or a Titan because we basically already had it. And of course, with a high-end PC comes a lot of cost. So the 1080 is gonna perform perfectly in all of the latest games anyway, especially 4K resolutions and so on. So very happy with the build, how it is. This is our gaming rig for 2018. I will be doing a full setup tour once the second PC is done. Now guys, the second PC is going to be absolutely insane. It's got one of the best editing and rendering CPUs that you can actually get on the market at the moment. And it's going to have some killer hardware to accompany that. And of course, some limited edition products from Bits Power. A golden black theme, as I said before. I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Remember to like and consider subscribing. If you're new to the channel, we do lots of videos like this, lots of custom PCs, tutorials, modding tutorials, water cooling guides, and reviews. And we'll see you guys in the next one.